Hello all, hope you're all good. Uh, Q and here again. Um, I haven't done a video for a little while, so sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm using a new technique for making video here, which is called holding the camera in my hand uh, and hoping my hand, my arm won't ache too much as I ramble on here. Uh, in all previous videos I've always propped up my camera on something uh, and today I kind of uh, there has been a few changes around my flat so I don't, didn't have my old setup ready so I just was flailing around trying to find a place to put the camera and I thought oh what the hell I'll just hold it in my hand so, which I have seen other YouTubers and vloggers do um, so Hopefully the camera won't shake around too much um, or uh, be badly filmed in some other way, like too close or too far away. I've just uh, made a aborted attempt at this video, so I looked at it and it sort of looked okay. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, the reason I'm making this video is uh, to tell you about my recent uh, radical change in my uh, ethical view. Uh, I've been a utilitarian all my life, pretty much, since certainly since I was a teenager. Um, and now at the age of 38, I've finally abandoned it, um, but within the last month. Um, I've been sort of having doubts about it for several years, but what's usually happened is I've thought, oh, God, I don't want to do this utilitarian thing anymore. But then I kind of think of the alternatives, and it really it seems like a, it's sort of like leaving a, a house you don't like and entering a kind of stepping out into a wilderness where there's just no real no alternatives that really grabbed me. Uh, and then eventually sort of reluctantly wandering back into the, to the house. Um, so uh, anyway, the 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 um, the system I have adopted, I don't know, and I haven't got a name for it yet. Uh, I'm trying to find out if other people have sort of come up with the same thing. Um, before it's always quite likely in uh, philosophy and ethics, because uh, really it's not a it's not a science that uh, that requires any modern technology or anything. So someone could there's been thousands of years to think of these things. Um, uh, it's some, something a little bit like uh, moral relativism, but it, I've looked up that on Wikipedia and it really isn't that. Um, basically, um, oh, my arm is aching, I'll change arms. Um, yeah, uh, the rough idea was, the thing that was worrying me as a utilitarian is that I, um, I'm also a moral skeptic and that has not changed so basically I think morals are kind of made up and uh, I always thought utilitarianism was pretty much my my choice by taste really um, and uh, but given that I think that um, our ethics come from um, our ethic each of us has a slightly different maybe overlapping with lots of similarities um, uh, core ethical sort of feelings um, and I think that they are not they are irrational if you like or they you can't justify them by pure reason um, so for example I I want people to be happy I can't really I can't say that's true or false um, but other people have maybe slightly different ones. I mean, most, most people want people to be happy, I think. Uh, but we have slightly different feelings, like some people value tradition and so on. Um, I don't tend to do that. Um, but what, what, was, what, was, what was irking me slightly is that um, why should my irrational, why should I be acting on my irrational um, core sort of ethical starting points? and not be taking someone else's seriously when they're equally a, a human being and I don't see why they and I don't think these things are right or wrong anyway um, so um, my new system is roughly speaking sort of taking everybody's core 
ir uh, irrational, if you like, ethical kind of starting points or assumptions seriously and sort of um, combining them to make some sort of system which might be um, which might be one that everybody can sort of accept in a way. Be so I'm mixing these kind of raw elements of people's core feelings like they want people to be happy or they don't want to they think it's wrong to be aggressive to someone else or whatever put them together in as logical a way as we as we can uh, but not using uh, necessarily in a democratic way the logic of everybody I'm using the best logic I can you know the best reason I can so some people might think they might actually think they've got some val basic values uh, but on reflection they, they aren't values that they really hold they just sort of come from misconceptions about facts for example they might think criminals should be punished because actually when you strip it away it's really because they think that it deters crime but maybe that's factually incorrect so I'm not going to go along with everybody's sort of um, misconceptions uh, see how long you're talking okay it's reasonably brief so far um, well, like, uh, well, quickly, two two sort of things that really provoked this change in me is this um, guy. I think his name is Jonathan Haid. Haid, or something. It's a very strange name. So H A I D T. I think should post post a link to. It. He did this TED talk about uh, in about 2005 or something. I've only just recently seen it, and uh, it was really interesting. It's about different people, right wing and left wing people, got basic sort of fundamental values. That sort of got me thinking a bit, like. Why should I be acting like my my values are the true values if they if they're just values you know if I can't really justify them I don't mean claiming I can justify them they're just my feelings. Um, the other thing is in the course of my sort of doubting utilitarianism I was coming up with all kinds of examples uh, of the kind uh, like I'm stuck in a room and some super being is asking me to make a choice for the whole of humanity. Um, uh, in those examples, it was it was choices of s like um, you can make everybody blissfully happy uh, for a short time, or you can make uh, everybody live uh, the humanity go on forever, but uh, people less happy. Th things like that. It just struck me as a bit. I wasn't really at ease with the fact that utilitarianism was compelling me to make make the answer based on utilitarianism and sort of screwing everyone else over and not really taking other people's views seriously um, and even when I like in my um, uh, political sort of activities I was like I'm pretty I think it's a pretty cool thing to be kind of democratic but you can't really pretend to be democratic when as I say when you really push comes to shove if you really had all power over humanity you'd suddenly start making massive executive decisions kind of thing uh, so those were two things that kind of led me led me to it also I was engaged in an online discussion with a guy called uh, Serpico that's his uh, online name on YouTube and uh, we were dealing with those kinds of things uh, like high-handed utilitarianism sort of thing and also I had was engaged in some other uh, discussions basically uh, maybe it's peer pressure that pushed me into this a bit because like Every, I haven't really had a, any support for utilitarianism. It really seems like it's everybody's not happy with it. Uh, so hopefully I haven't buckled under that uh, because, well, these other people did see, seem to have reasonable points of view. Anyway, so that's my new ethical system. I don't have a name for it. If you know much about uh, philosophy, you might be able to fill me in. Um, it's not moral relativism. I've established that. It's sim a bit like that, but uh, I think that's a little bit different. Um, anyway, uh, talk to you all soon. All the best.